I have this love-hate relationship with the city. The city. It's got a fruit named after it or for it or because of it just because it's so goddamn big for being so small. And that's like a mirror to me because as a David, I face so many Goliaths every day and I get the scoffs, the little girls, the, what are you, 4'11"? No, but even if I was, would that really be such a bad thing? I'm five one and a half, by the way, so I know yes. But I like to have the six foot five presence of a hockey player. So know that I'm feisty, and I'll check you straight into the boards if I have to, or if you want me to. You know, if you like that. That's why I love the city. The city. I can be whoever I want to be. I can be me. And isn't that all we ever really want to be? You know, besides like a French maid, school girl, teacher, or cop. You know, if you, if you want that, if you like that. And that's the thing, you know, why I love the city. The city, it's whatever you want, whatever you like, you can find it. It's funny, because I've always wanted to be able to leave at a moment's notice without leaving any traces behind. I think it's why I walk so fast, but it's hard when I've attached so many price tags of memories to each item I hold. I have difficulty throwing some movie stubs away. My mother kept strands of my sister's first haircut, and I couldn't toss away the old notes I wrote to Santa Claus. Or the old diaries when I wrote about how my sixth grade self went to an open casket of a classmate and wanted to trade places because I had never seen so much sadness wrapped up in a room, and I wanted to undo the event like plucking a bow off a present. Ooh. I have the old flip phone that broke. It carries with it a photograph of my grandfather the last time I saw him snuck from the back of a picnic bench, like a drug deal out of high school. I was so young when I last saw you that I didn't even understand how brutal your loss would leave me. But I was old enough to know that I should take your picture, because I never knew when I would see you again. And I knew that. And I knew that the last photo I had of you, I was young enough to sit on your lap. You were teaching me how to not lose my nose. You always had it. I've seen your gravestone more often in the past five years than I've seen you in the past 26. The weather never stopped me, the time never stopped me, and sometimes family would try to stop me. So I kept our visit secret, like a drug deal at college. So I'll visit and forget the crevices of lakes etched on your face. But I know I have it, buried in a phone, buried in a drawer, buried in the back of my mind. That's why I hate this city. This city. It reminds me how close our demons are. Can give us the key to opening boxes we've locked for our own good. Because you can be whoever you want to be. And sometimes we all shouldn't have the option of anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be too much. It can drive a person crazy. Like knowing I never got to say goodbye. And how I barely got to say hello. And that's why I hate this city, love this city, because there's a part of me that believes in hope that the man down the corner with the white scruff, cane, and newspaper boy cap, that man could be you. It's crazy enough for these possibilities, an empty grave with no funeral. I'll believe in your ghost on the streets of this city, because I never said goodbye. We never said goodbye.